Hi, I'm Ann from Cooking Light. Who doesn't love brownies? They're rich, they're chocolatey, they're just plain good. But most versions are overloaded in calories and saturated fat, and that's because they use way too much sugar, butter, and chocolate. But we've made this recipe over so that it still tastes great, but it's a lot better for you. It starts with some instant coffee. Now this is a great secret ingredient when you're using less chocolate. It has kind of the same bitter notes that chocolate has and it just intensifies the flavor. So instant coffee in a bowl and to that I'm adding some boiling water. And then just a small amount of chocolate chips. The heat from the water will melt the chocolate. Just stir until all the chocolate melts. Then butter goes into the bowl, and this is still a good amount. We're using six tablespoons, but it's far less than most recipes, which use about two sticks. Then vanilla extract, an egg, and some egg white. And then whisk that together. Now I'll mix the dry ingredients. Have some all-purpose flour, and to that I'll add some granulated sugar, a little bit of baking powder, some salt. Don't forget to add salt to your desserts. It really enhances the flavor. And then some cocoa powder. This is unsweetened cocoa and we're using this instead of using a lot of chocolate and that cuts down on the saturated fat. I'm going to whisk all this together to make sure everything gets incorporated. Next I'll mix the chocolate and coffee mixture into the dry ingredients. I'll just pour it all in the bowl and then whisk to get rid of any big lumps. So you can see that this is a thick, rich batter, like a good brownie batter should be. I'll just scrape it into the pan and spread it out. Now since this batter is so thick, I just need to make sure that I spread it evenly across the bottom of the pan. So see how simple that was? Now it just bakes for 25 minutes. The chocolate aroma is intense, and I can tell that these brownies have a great sugar crust, which is what you want. That crunchy top layer, but then a moist and fudgy interior. I'm going to dress them up just a little bit with a dusting of powdered sugar. And one important thing to keep in mind with brownies is that they are rich, they are decadent, and you don't need a slab. Think of it as a cookie size portion, that's all you need. We've cut more than 30% of the calories and more than 50% of the fat and saturated fat in these brownies. For more great ways to lighten up your favorite recipes, pick up a copy of Cooking Light and visit cookinglight.com.